What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. It's March, which means that summer is just a few months away. Some of y'all are doing good. You started them diets in January and you're already reaping the benefits. And there's some of you out there that I need to start like right now, <laughs> which after the battle of getting in shape is doing something that you can do consistently for the long term, which for me, being a foodie is eating foods that I love. I mean, if you look at any of my thumbnails, you watch any of my videos, you realize that uh, what I'm on doesn't even seem like a diet. You might've seen other grocery haul videos where they're showing you a bunch of chicken, a bunch of vegetables and triple filtered goat's milk. And if that's what you're looking for, uh, I don't even watch this video because we, we ain't got none of that. But my goal with this video is to show you guys everything I keep in stock, everything I keep on hand, my go-tos, my staples, the ones that keep me on track and keep me enjoying what I do. That way it doesn't ever feel like a diet. It's only a lifestyle. So if you guys are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it. Yeah. All right, baby, let's get this show started. I'm just gonna start going through stuff, man. So starting off, I gotta talk about my waffle mix, man. I got Hungry Jack Complete Waffle Mix and Funfetti Waffle Mix. These are for my waffles. I eat waffles almost every single day, anabolic waffles for breakfast. I pair that with sugar-free syrup. It's either that Miss Buttersworth, and if this is sold out, because this really is the best one, I use this uh, knockoff version. This is the Lamborghini. This is that smart car they discontinued. You're hitting this one, the whole family's going out. But yeah, waffles every day for breakfast, not too bad. I also keep zero calories sweetener on deck, a good way to add zero calorie sugar to a lot of things, man. And once you do it for a little bit, get used to the taste, you don't feel like crap afterwards, like you will regular sugar. We got some sauces here. Now I have so many sauces in this house, I literally couldn't even fit them all on this table, but I try to bring new stuff into these videos. So this is fat-free Thousand Island dressing. A little dip and dab of this can really spice up some certain things. And also we got some fat-free ranch. Like I said, we're not giving up what we love, we're just making better choices. Science is in a good spot these days. They can make this stuff taste so close to the original one without all the beer in it, you're not even gonna notice, and then you eventually, it's like when you first switched over to Diet Pop, hopefully you've switched to Diet Pop. At first you're like, this is missing something. And then after a couple weeks, you're like, I mean, it's got everything I need. Think of it like that. Always have to mention sugar-free barbecue sauce from G Hughes. This guy's a legend. He served in four wars and fought for our freedom, so don't you laugh at him. And he makes a killer barbecue. We got fat-free cottage cheese and fat-free plain Greek yogurt. Now, I'm telling you, I do not eat either one of these by themselves, so they're pretty terrible, pretty bland. These are ingredients in recipes. I do a lot of of recipes on this channel. So I always have these things um, in stock because my, my waffles take that every day, man. I'm going through tubs of these every week, three to four. So I'm eating waffles all the freaking time. Cottage cheese, don't use it as much, but it works in place of Greek yogurt. Your final product's just not as pretty. A little lumpy, but I know some of y'all out there like that. We got, now this is, this is a rare because I don't really ever eat a lot of veggies, but I do always have, which ones we got? That's green onions, and this is a little cilantro. Throw these in burritos. I mean, green onions is like my favorite thing to just throw into things because there's like almost no calories in either one. It's going to add a lot of flavor. Makes things look a little prettier if you're posting on a gram. Hershey's sugar-free chocolate syrup. Good way to add chocolate syrup to things without all them calories. Works really good as a ingredient recipes too. We got real egg originals. Now these are basically liquid egg whites, but they throw some chemicals in there that make it look and taste a little more like real eggs, but it's got the exact same macros, protein, calories, everything is liquid egg whites. So I've really switched over to these over using regular egg whites. So I just think everything about them is better. And that's me personally. If you're going to figure anything out on this channel, I'm not scared of uh, chemicals in my stuff. Yeah, I might go out if few years earlier than I'm supposed to, but at least I'll be on that casket shredded. He died doing what he loved. Got fat-free cream cheese. Once again, I'm, I'm not eating this by itself. It is a recipe ingredient, so I always have a few blocks of this stuff on deck. You know, you're gonna notice a theme. I like to keep a lot of things just in stock because you never know when, what mood's gonna hit and what you want. So when I'm eating out of my cookbook, sometimes I don't know what I wanna have at like the end of the day. So I'll just be scrolling. I'm reading a lot of recipes. I'm like, that looks good, that looks good, that looks good. But that, I make my night. So then I just know I got a lot of stuff on hand and a lot of this stuff doesn't go bad for a really long time. So you just hold on to it, you know? Be prepared for any situation. Am I missing anything? Ooh, Bonza chickpea pasta. Out of all the pastas I mess around with, I really think this is the best bang for your buck. It's gonna be the lowest calories with the most protein and the most fiber. And to, in my opinion, like, I mean, pasta doesn't really have a taste in general and neither does this. It doesn't really have a taste. So like it's same texture, same everything. So when we're doing like anabolic mac and cheese or any of the pasta recipes, stuff works great. In a pinch, if you also don't wanna cook, you need to do something quick. I have plate ready pasta, these little pouches, 300 calories. You can add some cheese sauce to it or whatever you wanna do. It's gonna get you there. And 
I don't really do rice that often, but if I'm making like anabolic chicken fried rice or something that needs rice, these instant rice packets are great as well. Now I'll hit you with an angle switch. What this is, is bread flour, big old bag. I keep bread flour and white flour on hand. Once again, I'm not putting a spoon down in here and eating flour, but we bake a lot of cookies on this channel, a lot of anabolic stuff. So flour, a big bag is super cheap, just have it on deck. When's that move gonna hit? You wanna make a pizza? You want some cookies? What do you want, bud? You got it on hand, you ain't gotta go buy it. And as far as meat goes, really chicken and 96% lean ground beef are about all I'm eating. I have a tub here of chicken breast. Once I buy it, I put it in Tupperware containers and seal it up. Instead of keeping it in that big, awkward bag that it comes in, that big, awkward tray tub that busts open, spills the chicken juice all over the rest of your groceries. You know that tub. I put them in here, way easier to manage. And also, you'll notice there might be a smaller piece in there because I'm cutting them away and everything out. Once again, use that food scale, guys. Get on Amazon, I think there's a link in my description for the food scale I got, and it's like 10 bucks maybe. I mean, they're cheap, man. Popcorn seasonings works well with Orville, Redenbacher, Smart Pop. You can follow the channel, you already know what this stuff is. It's just a quick way if you need to get something in before bed, lots of volume, the lowest calorie microwave popcorn I've ever been able to find, and it tastes the best as well. It was really hard to find there for a while, but it seems like uh, it's in stores again more. Damn pandemic ruining everything. But yeah, toss some seasonings on it. I got white cheddar, and what's this one? Chili Le Mans. I don't really recommend that Chili Le Mans one much. Not a big fan, but that, that white cheddar's pretty good. Also, sugar-free, fat-free pudding mix. Works great. I do a lot of anabolic ice creams and blizzards and big volume type recipes on this channel. Having some of this in stock, I mean, I always got it. I got like every flavor, but I just pull one out because I think that's sufficient to show you what I'm talking about. Whoa, 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 white bread, man. White bread. People are always like, Rem, bread makes you fat. And I'm like, you call this fat, bud? Really though, there's so many myths with diet, right? At the end of the day, it comes down to the amount of calories you eat in a day and the amount of protein you're consuming in a day for optimal weight loss and body composition. So don't be scared of bread. Don't be scared of flowers. Don't be scared of artificial sweeteners or diet soda ain't making you fat. It's not. You're eating too many calories for your body and your activity levels. How much you moving? If you're sitting on the couch all day, but your keto diet's letting you have 20 slices of bacon and 400 eggs and you're not losing weight, I wonder why. Track them calories, people. But anyways, white bread, 60 calories a slice. I really like this brand, Nature's Own Butter Bread. It's been the only brand I've been buying since at like every store I go to. Good stuff, pretty low carb, pretty pretty. Two grams of protein. I mean, you know, you do this versus like another brand of bread. It might be double the calories for one slice. That's why I'm always reading these nutrition labels, Jack. Always read those, man. Buy the best versions you can. Ooh, almost forgot, diet soda. We got diet Pepsi, zero sugar. Diet Mountain Dew, zero sugar. And my favorite sugar-free pop, diet root beer, zero sugar. Root beer, this is the most diet of pops that does not taste like a diet pop. Like this tastes like regular root beer, honestly. And there's no caffeine, so if you drink a few before bed, you're not worried about staying up late. And something about this, it's almost like it has more carbonation than any other pops you drink, so it like almost leaves you feeling fuller. So if you're hungry and now you have a craving, pop a bottle and tip her back, bud. Little Rem Pro tip. We also got some PB Fit powder. Once again, I'm not really using this stuff anywhere other than recipes. It's just powdered peanut butter. Because regular peanut butter, I mean a jar of that stuff's a slippery slope, man. You, you take one spoon, you take two spoons, next thing you know, you're in an alley somewhere and your family's trying to stage an intervention. It's not good, but this stuff's the better option. And I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about tortillas. Now my favorite tortilla of all, La Banderita Carb Counter Wraps. 45 calories of wrap, 11 grams of fiber, five grams of protein. You can find these at a lot of places, almost everywhere. And if you can't find this exact brand, there's a version of it, a high fiber tortilla. This is what I like, but if I'm making big burritos, I also have these Mission burrito style tortillas here as well. If you want to stuff a burrito full of some meat and whatever else your heart desires, these are the ones you want. And then moving over to this end of the table. Now, I eat a lot of pizza in this household and I like to have some pre-made crust on hand. I don't feel like waiting on the 30 minutes it takes for dough to rise for making my homemade dough, although homemade dough is way better. These will work in a pinch. Thin crust, low carb, low calorie, little uh, pizza crust. So yeah, big fan. And what I do is cover it in bad boys with fat-free mozzarella cheese, man. Fat-free mozzarella cheese really is the unsung hero of protein. Nine grams of protein, two grams of carbs, no fat, 45 calories for an ounce of it, 28 grams. You don't even gotta put meat on this pizza and you can still make it anabolic and higher in protein, more thermogenic. So I keep so much cheese on deck, it's not even funny. Usually about like 12 bags at a time, honestly. And then also, same thing with fat-free cheddar. A cool little thing I'll do, if I'm in a hurry, throw some liquid egg whites in a measuring cup, toss some fat-free cheese in there, put them in one of those low-carb, high-fiber wraps, and then that's a quick wrap. There's some green onions in there, quick, easy, like three-minute breakfast. And I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about having a good quality whey protein on hand, man. Whey protein, once again, I'm not really drinking shakes. You can, but for me, protein is a recipe ingredient. Quick way to add protein into my anabolic waffles in the morning. Any of the cookie recipes, a lot of the baking ones where we can add protein in. Protein powder is great. A good quality whey, 
will do you good. Finalbossperformance.com could RGF 10 will save you 10% on my preferred way, that cinnamon toast swirl, 25 grams of protein a scoop. It's good stuff. And then alongside this, having a good quality protein bar you can rely on, I think is essential. Sometimes you reach these points in the day where you're hungry and almost like that hunger is kind of taken over and you have that choice of either like waiting, being hungry and have nothing to eat or binging on something that's gonna throw your diet off. So for me, protein bars are huge, man. Anywhere I go, I might have one or two on me just to ensure I got something I can snack on that ain't throwing me back. So if you've been watching the channel, you know these are the Anna bars, the best freaking tasting protein bar on the planet. In my opinion, these taste like candy bars, but yet they're still good for you. Good macros are gonna fill you up. Maybe with whole food, we're not filling these up with extra fiber, doing anything where we're like trying to lie to you about the calories. Everything about these is 100% legit. And I know if you try them, you just try them, you're gonna believe me, man. We got PB&J, we got cinnamon swirl crunch, and we got white chocolate Oreo that's coming very soon. So soon, I don't even have a box yet, which is wild. But these will be dropping March 19th, or let me see, when does this video drop? Five days away from now? March 19th, man, they'll be dropping at midnight. Set your calendar, because I guarantee we sell out these things. They're incredible. I wouldn't lie to you, man. Call me a liar, but I wouldn't lie to you. Moving up, we got Lily's Dark Chocolate Baking Chips. These are my favorite chocolate chip to buy. These go great. Chocolate chip waffles, staple in my diet. Adding chocolate chips to a lot of the recipes we're doing, whether that's cookies, making our own like homemade anabolic chocolate sauce to drizzle over something. This is my favorite brand, but Hershey sugar-free chocolate chips are also great too. We got some red velvet cake mix. Sometimes I'm mixing up my waffles or mixing up my pancakes and a little bit of this does wonders if we're making red velvet versions of anything. It's a little sweeter, a little more chocolatey, but overall, I think diversity and switching things up is the spice of life. So like I, do, I eat waffles every day, but maybe I'm doing red velvet. Maybe they're chocolate chip. Maybe they're just old fashioned. Maybe I'll hollow one out and wear it as a necklace. I'm changing things up is what I'm trying to say. Oh, I forgot about this with the pizza, but turkey pepperoni. In my opinion, you open this up and you eat one of them, it's gonna taste just like a regular pepperoni. People got this weird mindset where they think like healthy stuff or better for you stuff automatically doesn't taste as good. And in the case of like fat-free Greek yogurt, fat-free cottage cheese, ain't lying. But this stuff, man, once again, I, I, I can't tell the difference. Turkey pepperoni's for the win. And then this is some queso blanco. So surprisingly low calorie. Just don't eat the whole thing, you know what I mean? But a little bit of this goes a long way and a burrito goes a long way to drizzle a little bit on top of a pizza on a burger. Really good stuff. Am I missing anything here? I think that's it. And that is gonna wrap this video up, guys. Appreciate you guys for uh, taking the time to share out the content. Hopefully you got some ideas from this. And if you are someone that has been struggling on a diet, right, and you just can't find anything that works, nothing that you want to stick to, foods you don't enjoy eating and you're tired of like chicken, rice, and broccoli, give this whole anabolic thing a shot. I'm telling you. As someone myself personally that is a foodie, someone that just loves food. I grew up in that culture. That was everything my family was about was eating good food. And I mean that. Then uh, something like this, man, might just be the catalyst that changes everything for you. And I believe that. And if this all sounds good, right? And you've seen some of my recipe videos and you want to have the ultimate guide to all of my recipes listed in an easy to use cookbook that fits right in your pocket, check out the RJF Anabolic Cookbook. Link down below in my description. This is literally what I use every single day when I'm trying to figure out what it is I want to eat, man. And if you take this to the grocery store with you and you have recipes in mind and you want to know what you need to buy, you just got to look at this book and it's going to tell you everything without having to pull up a video. Plus two, you get it one time, you get every future recipe I have for free. Can't beat that. Appreciate you guys as always for watching. Smash that thumbs up button for me, comment anything down below. It all helps the algorithm. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. We got lots of great videos coming. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Now I get to eat a protein bar. <laughs> this is going to be epic.